Why, hello everyone. I'm gonna make this pretty snappy. It's pretty windy out today. This is Angelo Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. We're about to do a final walkthrough of my client's new home over here in Kings Canyon by TriPoint Homes in the Red Point Village. This community is almost sold out. And they bought the plan one at 2379 square feet. This one has the three bedrooms and a den and the nice three car garage. I've sold, I don't know how many homes in this community, five at least. So the plan one is a great floor plan. It's the only single story floor plan in this community for Kings Canyon. When you walk in, you have this beautiful courtyard. And then I love this color door, the very modern doors. And the nice thing with this client is that we were able to help them go to the design studio and meet up and pick the finishes with them. So this plan one is also located at Alpine Ridge. It has the nice tall ceilings. We're gonna take a look at the great room first. They selected a nice luxury vinyl flooring. Big trend right now. So when you go to the design studio, you get to pick your flooring, you get to pick your electrical package. So they went with the Smurf tubing on the wall. They went with the upgraded textured walls as well. And then they did go with a sound system, surround sound speakers. They also put in extra can lights throughout and it's pre-wired for a ceiling fan. And this was another upgraded option was to have the big slider. The floors turned out nicely, mm -hmm. especially it matches nicely. She went with a two-toned cabinet with the nice uh, brown grayish cabinets, shaker style with the beautiful Carrera quartz with the waterfall effect. And then we went with the darker blue island, which is beautiful. And nice, lighted underneath, extra upgraded. We love this little backsplash. I think they went with the upgraded cabinets, the soft close cabinets. And we decided to do with all drawers because drawers are so much easier than cabinets, right? Yes. I mean, look at all these drawers. Nice and big too. Yeah. Deep. Yep. So much easier to store stuff with the drawers. And they definitely went uh, upgrade. Oh, that's a nice feature. They definitely upgraded to the GE monogram appliances. That wasn't cheap, beautiful. That looks like it's missing something. So we're about to do the walkthrough with my client. Uh, she's running a little late. So we thought, hey, let's get this video out of the way. And when you do a walkthrough on a new construction, you see the blue and green tape. We go around and we tape every, or anything that we see that needs to be fixed, right? They went with the large single basin stainless steel sink which is nice. And another added feature is to have the trash bin right there, which is a nice feature. And then they went with the Sub-Zero refrigerator. Can you open it? Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And also <clears throat> the nice upgraded appliances. Very nice. And the nice thing about this plan one is this big pantry. Very nice. It's always fun to see when you select things in the design studio, how it comes together, right? Yes. No carpet anywhere in this house, which I highly recommend to my clients. This is an added upgraded feature, this little cabinet section right here. They also added extra uh, recessed lighting throughout with the pre-wire for the ceiling fan. And then also they didn't do Smurf tubing, but they did put the TV plug right there. Yeah, we'll go outside shortly. Then, the beautiful, they got the spa shower. This was an upgrade with the stacked, beautiful blue-green tile, my favorite pattern. And then the honeycomb flooring with the rain head, the bench, and then it's nice to see how it coordinated nicely with the floor tiling we selected. Great, great yep. And then the upgrade that they selected was also to have this free floating cabinet with the lights underneath, the double vanity. They 
they picked brushed nickel as their hardware selection, but the more modern looking brushed nickel hardware. Oh yeah, that's right. This was an upgraded too. The little door, glass in the closet door. And this is just basic builder grade. And I'm sure they're gonna probably put something in there and do a custom cabinets. Gotta hurry up. Okay. So, this floor plan, we're gonna take a left. You have an option of turning this one into the fourth bedroom with a bathroom attached to it. They decided to go with the den, which is a better option, and also the extra recess lighting that was added. They didn't do any um, smurf tubing in here. Maybe because it's the office. Yeah, could be. I love all these windows. Okay. So now then you have two bed, the two bedrooms back here with a Jack and Jill bathroom. Again, I like that they did all the recess lighting in all the rooms with the pre-wire for a ceiling fan. Ooh, I can't wait to see what this bathroom looks like. Oh yeah, this tile was a great choice. It goes nicely with the cabinets. Honeycomb theme continuing. And they got the same quartz countertops throughout. Ooh, sorry. Yes, that, looks good. <laughs> that looks good. And it kind of coordinates with the primary shower, mm -hmm. uh, the color wave, you know what I mean? This was an upgrade. They didn't want to have any tubs, so they had put a shower in here. And then here is the bedroom number two. Again, recessed lighting, pre-wire for a ceiling fan. Very nice. Great touched on the walls too. Yeah, that, I said that was like an upgraded option. And then you have your hall closet, linen closet with your smart panel right there. And you have the laundry room. They went with the upgraded cabinets in the laundry room. And yep, they put a sink in here as well. So that's a nice feature. That definitely helps with resale. And then they also have the half bath right here. Nice thing is, ooh, this is a nice, I like this. Yeah. Very nice. Ooh, that definitely needs, we'll be pointing that out when we do the walkthrough. Uh, let's go in the backyard and then we'll go in the garage. I like that they did, what they did was the luxury vinyl throughout and only kept it in the main bathrooms with a different tile. Just makes it for a seamless transition. We did that in our house. I just think it makes easier instead of having all these different tiles everywhere. So they added the extra recessed LED lights. There's four extra with a pre-wire for a ceiling fan. And this one backs up to... I forget what this road is. But that's a Royal's Edge right there. Love the asymmetrical roof line. Red Point Drive. That's where the AC units are located. They also got the barbecue stub right there. Love this big window. That's where the side gate is. Okay, let's get this done. Love this slider. And the nice thing about TriPoint Homes, I really like their recessed lighting because I don't know if you can tell. Let's turn off some lights. It's like a flush mount LED lights which they're smart, which is like the best thing anyone can ever do in the world. Um, so they don't, they look very modern, unlike some of the builders that have the old can lights, right? Mm -hmm. So this has a finished garage, tankless water heater, plumb for a water softener. And that wraps it up, folks. Yeah, the third car is over there. Let's see if they opened it. Not yet. 
All right, so to summarize, we're over here at Kings Canyon taking a tour of the plan one, which is 2379 square feet with three bedrooms, a den, and a three car garage. I don't know what the base price was at the time, and since they pretty much sold these plan ones sold out in Kings Canyon, I can't tell you. But if you're interested in buying any new construction here in Summerlin, I am your new home sales expert. I sell a lot of new construction in Summerlin and across the Las Vegas Valley. You can call me at 702-370-5112. <laughs> if you have any questions about this floor plan or this community, leave it down below. But most importantly, hit that, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, folks. See you on the other side.